covering a new topic about WebFrame. We are going to be going over adding users. So where we're going to go for that once we've logged in is over to WebFrame Admin. In WebFrame Admin, uh, we have some options here, okay? Um, there's the WF Settings panel, and this has to do uh, with your configuration of WebFrame, the path of your um, off web saved files, uh, the description of your site and your site name. Okay, uh, let's back up. That's not what we're doing today. We got users, permissions, and then uh, the audit logs. And the audit logs are something we're not going to do today either too much. But this is just showing you which users have logged in. So you can see we had a user named test. It had an IP address here. Um, this is uh, a local user, uh, Adam, and um, it does not have an IP address. And that is because I'm using a local host and it's having trouble reading that. So. Um, if I go over to permissions, this is where we want to start, okay? Um, when we are making a user, um, they have different uh, permissions that we can give them. Um, they can be an admin or uh, they could have a tier. So uh, when I'm looking at a user's permissions, let me go over to the permissions, okay? they have the option of admin or I can create a tier for them okay so um, let's go over permissions and the first thing we have to do is at least have one tier okay otherwise they have to be an admin and what an admin means is they have full access to everything on the system and usually when you're making a user you want to limit that a little bit so sorry we're gonna head over to permissions and this is what the permissions field looks like, okay? So we have our tier one set up. By default, there won't be any tier set up. You'll have to add one. And you have to change a few things. The hood is um, the aesthetic of their site. By default, what you're looking at here is the default hood. M hood stands for mobile hood. This is uh, at the login screen. It says um, login either with a standard login or with mobile login and this will make uh, your login more mobile friendly if you set it up with a hood that makes it more mobile friendly. We can turn chat on and off. The chat is down here. And these are all the applications and the My Apps section and you can decide which ones you want turned on and off for this particular tier. Okay. So this user, the test user here, has all these off and these three things on and this off and this on. And um, I'm going to show you what that looks like on their side and then we'll make a user. So if I say new private window and we're going to go into local host here and I log in. So I'm going to log in with our test account that we built. Okay, and you notice it looks the same. However, on the default hood, it will actually show you everything by default here. But if they have permission for it, uh, I can go into it. And if they don't have permission, I can't. So if I head back over here again and see what we have permission for and what we don't, I have permission for terminal, but I don't have permission for web frame admin. So let's go back. I can go in a terminal and that's not a problem. Now let's try going to WebFrame Admin. It booted me out and that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, let's set up a new tier and let's change the aesthetic a little bit here. Okay, so um, we're going to add a tier and we're going to switch this up. So this is going to be, let's switch this to the slim PHP and we're going to change that and say Slim is a special hood um, where we tie it to a particular application okay so um, and let's give them access to um, the pages app we made in the last tutorial 
and uh, let's give them access to the developer tools and that's it for right now we'll set save and what we're going to do is um, let's go over and make a user so to make a user I click on users and here we are and uh, add user in the corner here and we're going to put in the username of um, the person we want to make so we're going to make Bob here and we need Bob a password and we're going to set him to tier 2 that was the tier we just made and add user now because I put him on that slim hood the slim hood essentially goes and logs them directly into a certain app application and that application is their navigation so let's quickly make a navigation app and then we're going to modify the slim hood to let them in okay and we're going to actually have to add that application uh, to their tier if we're going to have this work so um, let's call this nav okay and we'll hit create and um, we gave them access to the developer tools so let us let us build some nav points here for them so we'll just do some h3 tags and inside these h3 tags I'm going to make them links and our PHP code is going to go in here and this is the functions that we talked about a few videos ago and I'm just going to copy this in a second let me hit save and I'm going to maximize this out and um, I'm going to copy this and paste that and we're going to do uh, dev and pages okay so now uh, let's link to these things so WD URL and this is uh, going to be instead of what we usually do putting WD type and WD app we're linking to other applications so this one is really just apps and the next one here is dev and then start.php because this is the page that it's, we wanted to start on so start.php and we don't want to add anything to the end here so we're going to leave it like that and we're going to do the same thing down here but for the pages app so pages is in my apps and we're going to uh, put the title of it which is pages and it's going to be start.php and then finally there we go and let's fix that okay so now we got our navigation our next step here is uh, we're going to call this from terminal I'm going to go over and take a look at the hoods and I'm going to go over to the slim hood and set for my apps and right here we're going to change this from bidding front to the name of the application we just built which is nav okay and that's all we have to do in the slim hood finally I'm going to go back over to tiers so that's in permissions and I'm going to go over here and tier 2 
and we're going to add our new application as something that they can access. So we'll save changes there. And now let's try to log in with our new user. So um, we're going to go back over again over here to the login page and type in Bob this time and put in his password. Now I could have made more um, changes to the slim navigation but this is what we had set up on that application this is the title it puts this in automatically and it puts in an auto login and a logout and then it just puts my application with any styling I wanted to have added to it so over here are dev and pages these are the things so if I click on dev it takes me over to dev and I can click on nav again and I can go to pages and here's the pages app we made the other day and I can go back over to nav and now we have a custom uh, login for our user that is more user friendly for what they're going to be using the program for. If they're only going to be using one application you can link directly to that application. If they're going to be using three or four you can build a navigation for them for them to use. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.